This is a brief tutorial outlining the functionality of 3D Surface Inspector in ImagePro Plus. We begin by previewing a live image of an insect that demonstrates a common problem. The depth of field of our objective lens is shorter than that of our object, and thus many planes are out of focus as you can see here. Choosing Advanced 3D Surface Inspector, we will open a proven tool used to overcome our narrow depth of field. This window contains four tabs, Manual Acquire, Auto Acquire, Focus Settings, and Measurement. We'll start off with demonstrating a manual acquisition using 3D Surface Inspector as the acquisition interface. We choose our initial position in microns, an estimated delta Z between the planes, direction of acquisition bottom up or top down, and the option to generate montages and topographical maps. We choose to either use step-by-step -step capture or continuous capture. We'll begin with a manual step-by-step -step capture. Simply clicking the acquire button to capture an image at the initial Z position and then manually moving the focus from bottom up or top down, the distance referenced in the delta Z. Continue adding images to the newly created Z stack by clicking acquire until you have captured all the in focus planes of your object. This can be as many or as few as you desire. Be aware, however, that the larger the distance between the planes, the more difficult it becomes to reconstruct the in-focus pixels in the topographical map created later. Here we are adding 11 Z positions, which automatically create an ImagePro sequence file as the planes are captured. When the stack has been completed, simply choose the Finish button to display an EDF image, topographical map, and 11 position sequence file. After completion, the images will load. We will stop our live preview. And here you see the extended depth of field 2D image with the Z measurements overlaid at the crosshairs of the mouse. Z positions are referenced from the topographical map where intensities represent Z heights in in-focus pixels. Lastly, the sequence file is available to play through the new sequence and save for future use. The next option in the manual tab is the continuous capture mode. We will close the previous acquisition and enter the number of images we would like to acquire. 3D Surface Inspector will display the appropriate range between the first and last Z position captured based on the delta Z. Once these have been entered, choosing Acquire begins the acquisition. We simply continuously move through our focus at a constant rate from the initial position to the extent of our range value. The continuous capture will acquire the number of images entered with no need to click buttons, simply moving the focus on your microscope. The result will be the same as before, with an EDF image that displays on-image z-height profiles. Also, a topographical map. and a sequence file that is easy to navigate with the sequence toolbar. This sequence is automatically created using these two modes of acquisition. You can then save this sequence file for later use, analysis, surface renderings, or anything you can think of. If we had captured this stack earlier, or not chosen to create an EDF and topographical map, then we can perform this from the Focus Settings tab. Simply selecting the active sequence file on the desktop and choosing Add, and either bottom up or top down acquisition, we then simply click Create. This will produce our EDF image referencing the Z positions measured in the topographical map. Moving to the Measure tab, 
we can generate more robust surface measurements. With the active EDF selected and clicking Surface Plot, we can display an estimated surface rendering based on the plane where in-focus detail was found. Here you can use your mouse to easily maneuver the surface rendering and view it from any side you desire. Options reside along the top to display the rendering as a wireframe, a pseudocolor, or with the texture from your EDF image. Contrast enhancement and shadow enhancement also help visualize along with the display axis calibrated in X, Y, and Z. We can choose to ad adjust the lighting elevation and rotation, our viewpoint of the image. You can view it from X, Y, X, Z, or Y, Z viewpoints. And we can reset this view as well. Z scaling can be applied to the surface plot along with a normalize option. If I like my settings and I want to snap a quick 2D picture of my surface plot, I can choose New Image. And this will create a snapshot in my Image Pro workspace. I can also create an animation of my surface plot by choosing horizontal or vertical rotation, the number of steps, rotation angle, and even a preset seesaw animation that will rock back and forth. And I can generate an automatic AVI movie. Closing my surface plot, I can look at my new movie, play through it, and share with my colleagues. If you have any further questions or like more information about this product, please contact your local dealer, sales office, or technical support.